Today I am going to quickly go through how to set up a Lee collet neck sizing die for these 308 Winchester brass that we're going to neck size. And uh, I'm just going to take them right out of the box here. This is the ultimate 308 Winchester die set. Um, comes with the shell holder, full length sizing die, the collet neck sizing die the dead length bullet seating die, and a factory crimp die, which the factory crimp die mostly is used, uh, in my experience, with lead bullets. So, but today, what all we're going to do is use the neck sizing die. So, put your shell holder in place. If you follow the instructions correctly, what it will tell you about the neck sizing die is for a collet neck sizing die for an adjustment for lee presses you screw the sizing die in until it contacts a shell holder plus one more turn and if you have a classic series lee press you turn it in till it hits the shell holder and then one and three quarter turns more now, for other brands of press, which this particular press is an old RCBS Rock Chucker 2, so that would be other brands of press, it says screw collet neck sizing die in until it makes firm contact with shell holder, plus two more turns. And the reason they want you to do that is because a lot of presses have over-travel, where they toggle, they kind of get to the midpoint and then push a little further, and they don't want you to do that. Uh, with this collet sizing die. So essentially there's a collet inside, there's a round tapered cone and it has slots cut in it and as it goes up, as the neck goes up inside the collet it squeezes around it. There's a little mandrel looking thing basically. Um, so what we're gonna do here, and I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, I hope you can. We're just touching now. I'm going to back it off and double check. Yeah, we're just touching right there. Okay. And I have a little black line that I drew with Sharpie on the nut so that I can count the revolutions as I turn it. So they want you to do two complete turns, and my black mark is right here. So I'm going to pull this down. There's one complete turn. Here is two complete turns right there. And I snug it down finger tight because I still have the old fashioned Lee lock ring on there that has a rubber gasket inside it. So now you don't want to run this ram up and smash it into this piece here because this kind of floats in there and it will, you know, get impacted and kind of jam it and mess it up. I'm going to get another one of these trays out so that as I go through the neck sizing I can put them in a new tray. I'll be right back. Okay I'm back. I got my second tray and I'm just gonna run these in. What I normally do is, you know, this is a nice clean piece of brass. It's been trimmed, it's it's been cleaned, the primer pockets have been cleaned, it's ready to go. Um, it's already been fired in the rifle that I'm gonna use these rounds for and that's why we just neck size. Uh, because the body of the cartridge case has been fire formed and fit to the inside of the chamber for this particular rifle. So that's why I'm going to neck size only for these cases on this run right here. And I've got 40 of them to do. I'm only going to do two or three on camera and then I'll end the video. Uh, I'm trying to keep it short and as you guys know, brevity is not my specialty. Okay, so I go up into the case and I believe in the instructions it says to give it about 25 pounds of force. Now what I like to do is turn the case another say half a turn, third of a turn and do it a second time. That is suggested in the instructions as well for greater uh, tension, greater accuracy, a greater, greater concentricity I guess you could call it. Uh, but I've never had any real trouble with it. The only problem I ever had was with the collet sticking a little bit, and that was due to I needed to clean it out, uh, kind of go over it with some emery cloth, 
and then uh, I put anti-seize compound up in the top so that it wouldn't get hung up in there. Now, here we go, another clean piece of brass, slide it in, go up, and then squeeze it pretty tight. There's actually a lot more flex in my bench than I want, but there's not much I can do about it. It's until I build a new bench. So that's what I do. I, uh, I put them in, I go up, you can feel it, squeeze it. I back it, you know, third to a half a turn more and give it a second turn. And then that neck is squished down nice. And if you try to put a bullet in it, you'll see it won't go. It's it's tight. It's it's got a nice amount of ductile strength in there, and it's the neck tension is going to be good because the brass is still good. And that's it. That's how you use the neck sizing die. I'm going to continue doing these the rest of these 40, and uh, I'll bring you back for the next step in my load process. Um, right now, this is just gonna be generic target loads uh, for 308 Winchester with 168 grain bullet. And I'll do a short series of each step along the way. All right now, I'm just starting with the neck sizing. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day.